So underway now in this championship event. I'd anticipate Rebecca Green will launch out to the front and we will see who follows. So Green coming in with a seed time which gives her favouritism, the Peter Fortune coached athlete from Melbourne University. Charlotte Wilson, haven't seen much of her this season. And Ali Benson, they're the top three at the moment as they start to settle. Looks like Brooke Williams also might be up there in the teal colours of Albury. So Green, Wilson, Benson, Williams in that order. Williams now slipping into third position. Gap then to the chase bunch. Galsonis there. Humphrey also, uh, sorry, Condagonis. Humphrey to the outside of her. Lesberg further outside once again. But out the front it is potentially our two race favourites. That is Green and Wilson. So sub-16.40 pace for Green out front at the moment. Williams is making that brave move to try and get close to Wilson as we see Green just stretching out slightly in the early stages of this race. So I'd say Wilson's deciding she's going to sit back, not go with that early pace. We've seen Green impressive over the 800 metres in recent times. She's shaping up to the... 10 kilometre event Saturday afternoon at the MCG. So Williams looking strong in that third position. Benson, Condagonis, Skeltsonis, the two training partners, then Lesberg, Humphrey, Trueweek, Chiffy Gray, LaPere, Deckers, then Bucky Smith, Twining, then Burt and Pounding. So impressive pace out the front from Green. She's on around 16 minute uh, pace. Williams has now taken second position, getting a little impatient and moving past Wilson. They're sitting on around the 16.30 mark. So it is good pacing out front at the moment. So Green approaching 1,200 metres now. So she's on sub-16 pace at the moment, Green. Williams and uh, Wilson still together. They're on about that 16.30 schedule. Gap then, Benson leading the next pack. Looks like Condagonis and Skeltsonis, Lesberg... And I think that might be Trueweek just tacking onto the back of that group of five. But we're seeing Rebecca Green just moving smoothly and very efficiently. As we said, cool conditions here tonight at Lakeside. So nine out for Green. Williams, Wilson's content to sit there. Benson is actually keeping that group moving nicely and there could be a little bit of damage being inflicted as we see a break now between Skeltsonis and Lesberg. So Benson moving very, very efficiently. Nine out for her. Condagonis happy to sit in that group of three with Skeltsonis just along for the ride with a training partner. Humphrey LaPere. 
Then Chiffy Gray, also Bucky Smith. Gap then to Twining. Another gap then to Burt and then to Pounding. So the lead of about 80 metres now, Rebecca Green, Melbourne University. Not much change, although Williams is moving nicely and putting the pressure on Wilson. So the Albury athlete back in the big smoke down here again and racing well, Brooke Williams. Ali Benson is leading that next chase group through and there's not much of a gap. Well, sorry, the gap is not widening between third position and fourth position. So coming down to get the two kilometre mark now, Rebecca Green, Melbourne University leads. So two K six twenty two thereabouts. So we're still sitting around that 16-minute mark for Green. And I think Williams is starting to stretch Wilson now. So we'll get a split on them as they come through the two as well. So going through in 6.40. So that's right on the, uh, the 16.40 mark. So Benson is the big mover here as we look back in the field. She's now put the gap on Condagonis and Skeltsonis and is bearing down on Wilson and also Williams. But out front it is still our leader as she approaches the halfway mark. So good performance out front. She's right on that 16 minute schedule as she hits the 2500 metres. Rebecca Green looking strong. Ali Benson now with Charlotte Wilson. Brooke Williams about five metres ahead. So yet again we have a championship race going on here. The lead up quite clear but the battle for the minor medals is starting to heat up with Ali Benson from Melbourne University looking to potentially make this a one-two for the white train. Williams still looking good, so don't disregard Brooke Williams. She does have a turn of speed as well and never ride off Charlotte Wilson. The gap back then to Condagonis. Then Skeltsonis. Decker's leading the next little bunch, which includes Lesberg and also Truweek, two of our country athletes. So our leader coming down to hit the three kilometre mark. So we'll watch for this time split through the seven and a half laps. So green through, 9.36. So just on that 16 minutes, as we see Ali Benson now joining Brooke Williams. So Benson played it smart early. Sat back, has moved through. We've seen a few of those. We saw Sophie Coglin do it beautifully in the women's under 20s. And we're seeing it again here from Ali Benson. 
So we're hitting about 10.02. So they're in the 1640s. Ooh, Benson just being stretched. I think Williams just put the foot down as she hit that. Wilson now in no woman's land as she looks back and she'll see that uh, Condagonis is about nearly 100 metres adrift. We're seeing Deckers now starting to come through, taking Lesberg and also Trawick with her. They might be eyeing off the two Box Hill runners ahead. That Glen Huntley Box Hill rivalry still thick and strong in this women's event. Humphrey, Chiffy Gray, LaPere, Bucky Smith. As we see Green now just coming past Olivia Twining. So four out. Now Williams has put a bit of space on Benson as well. So Benson did some work to get through and up to that bunch, but has she paid for the price for that mid-stage? But it's still Green leading beautifully here. Williams looking very, very strong. So four out for Williams. She's now put the gap to about 15 metres over Benson. Another 35 back to Wilson. Condagonis in next position. Deckers now bridging or gapping the, the two Box Hill girls. Skeltsonis in next slot. Lesberg, Trueweek. And Humphrey will be next on the track. With Chiffy Gray, new on the scene in Athletics Victoria competition and she's looking very strong over the 3,000 and 5,000 metre distances. LaPere, Bucky Smith, as we see our leader coming down. So she'll have three laps to go. So 1,200 out now for Rebecca Green. The lead about 115 metres over Brooke Williams. Another 20 metres back to Ali Benson. And probably another 40 to 45 back to Charlotte Wilson. So the 1-2-3 looking quite set now as we go into the final phase of this event and approach that last kilometre. So 12.52, that is our four kilometre split. That puts her at about the 16.07 time. So let's see if Green can kick it in and get close to that 16 or just maintain that pace. As we said, the, the gold medal is in the bag here. The gap to Williams is about 1.50. Williams is now really putting the gap down on Benson, but uh, Wilson not making much of an impression now as Benson goes through to collect that last kilometre as well. Green comes through, two to go. So Williams, I'd say she's got that silver medal sitting in her pocket, two out. Benson, got a gap, maybe 45 over Wilson. Never right off Charlotte, but gee, that is a big gap over two laps to try and reel back in. Dana Decker's nice solid run from her, running into fifth position now. Condagonis, Lesberg, Taking through week with her and about to approach Condagonis. So nice, smart running Nikki Lesberg in the Bendigo Uni kit. Trueweek, impressive run from her as well. Not letting Lesberg go as they come down to get two to go. And our race leader, Rebecca Green from Melbourne University, approaching the bell. So 
So has she got a 68 second lap in her to finish off? I'm not sure if the legs will get there, but still impressive running from Rebecca Green. It's going to be a shade over the 16 minutes, but it's a good run here tonight in these conditions. And Brooke Williams still looking oh so strong. Holding up beautifully under these conditions as well. So Brooke Williams from Albury coming down to get one to go. Benson too far back now to try and bridge that gap. So one to go for Williams. Benson coming through. This will be her first time, I'd say, on a individual podium in Athletics Victoria. So Ali Benson, one out. Charlotte Wilson in that fourth position. Dana Decker's fifth. Is down the back. We can now see Rebecca Green coming through. Time check, 15.43. So nice solo run here from Green. Went out early, had Wilson for a little while, but then has just really been a class of her own out front. She eases out to lane three. Let's get behind our event winner, new Victorian champion. We saw her running so well at Cruden Farm to announce that she's here. And now Rebecca Green takes out the Victorian Open Women's 5,000 metre championship. Time went a bit early there, so it's about a 16.10. Looking down, we'll see Williams coming through the traffic now. She'll ease out to lane three. So Brooke Williams is back. After giving birth, she's back and she's running solidly. So it's going to be well under the 1640 mark. So Brooks held that form beautifully in that latter stage of the race. Not to be outdone by Ali uh, Benson though. That's another great run from her. But 1637 unofficial. Williams for second. Benson what a run from her. Looking great over the 15, the 3K, and now the 5K in 16.44. And let's get behind Charlotte Wilson. Bit of an icon of Victorian athletics and also athletics Essendon, and multiple Victorian champion. Great coach, great person, and good representative for athletics Essendon. And just the wrong side of 17, but another good run. Dana Decker's smart running once again from Miss Decker's wearing the Glen Huntley uniform. So Dana will come through and she'll take a very well-deserved fifth position. And she'll be in at around 17-16. Trueweek, very good performance from Carla Trueweek from Wendaree. That's a big one from her. She'll be next in. <laughs> She'll be sub 17.30. She'll be happy with that. Condagonis right on the 17.30 with Lesberg. Brigitte Humphrey, next one in from St. Stephen, 17.35. Victoria Skeltsonis. Big finish here from Eliza LaPere. She'll get the Ballarat YCW uh, girls and guys going nicely, but uh, she'll get under 18. Skeltsonis stops the clock, 17.49. Nice form there, Eliza LaPere, 17.53. Olivia Twining, a big kick home as well, 17.58. Bucky Smith will just miss the 18, but good running. Chiffy Gray next from Richmond Harriers. So Georgia pounding, possibly one lap to go. And also Alicia Burt from Geelong Guild. So let's continue to support our runners out there on the track here for this Open 5,000 metre championship. So Rebecca Green, yeah, was a class of her own, but uh, Brooke Williams is making the comeback now, representing the Albury Club. She does live up uh, northern Victoria now, so coming back from childbirth, and as we're seeing so often with uh, our senior females, uh, having a child is no impediment to their athletic career at all. So Brooke looking very strong tonight, so he seems to be in very good shape, and it'll be exciting to see what she does leading through. Maybe she's got her eyes on Zatapec. Uh, Rebecca, where does she go from here too? We're not too sure. I don't know her that well, so I've got to get to know this young lady. She will be running the Melbourne Marathon 10K on Saturday afternoon uh, up against the likes of Rose Davies, so that will be a good test for her. Ali Benson, uh, yeah, I've had my eyes on this one for a couple of seasons now, and she is just going from strength to strength, and I think that will be her first individual medal in a Victorian Open Championship. Um, I'm ready to stand corrected on that one, but I'm not sure if uh, Ali has made the podium before, and that will be... 
just reward for some uh, really good training and uh, a great club person at the Melbourne University Club as well. So big finish here, Georgia pounding. Look at those arms pumping. So great to see the old Zavarian back out here in this open 5,000 metres. And Georgia will stop the clock at 2012.